Now, on the Sunshine Coast in uh, Queensland in Australia, there's been a group of researchers who've been trying to find out more about magpies. Now, magpies are common birds in southern Australia, and um, we see them around our, our homes, around our cities, a bird that's very familiar. But these research scientists want to find out more about magpies and find out how far they move from their nesting areas, etc. They decided what they would do was put small trackers on the birds. Now, these trackers weigh about a gram. Uh, they attach them to the bird with a, with a device that required um, a little harness. And what they did very cleverly is they organized it so when the birds came to a feeder, the tracker would download data each time the bird came to the feeder. So you didn't have to catch the bird again, and um, the data was able to be collected regularly. Another little trick that they had is when they wanted to, when the bird came to the feeder, the researchers could trigger a little magnet and the harness would drop off so they could get the tracker back, and then the bird wouldn't have to carry the tracker anymore. So this was a wonderfully designed little project, and the scientists were hoping to get lots of data. They caught five birds, they put the trackers on, and let the birds go and watch them come and go. Within 10 minutes, one of the adult females had removed a tracker from one of the young birds, and within a couple of days, all the trackers had been removed from all the adult birds. Now, they're not sure whether it was the same bird that went around and helped them all take this gadget off, uh, or that they learnt between one another and they shared it around. But even the dominant male, who would normally not allow any sort of uh, close contact like that, had his tracker removed by one of the other magpies. So it doesn't happen very often in the bird world. There's a record in uh, the Seychelles where there's warblers that will assist one another if they get stuck in sticky uh, seeds and will help another bird get uh, escape from the sticky substance. But this is one of those rare occasions where altruism in birds appears to be something that uh, we haven't known about and that uh, we'll need to do more research on. What we're not sure is that is, is this sort of activity only in very social birds like magpies? Or could other birds actually have a similar sort of habit? Fascinating research out of the Sunshine Coast and yeah, good on those magpies for keeping on the, on the ball with the researchers.